Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use and customize the placement point type MD prop. We'll explore the difference between object motions and placement point motions, including how to customize them and how the override system works. Let's look at the dedicated motions for placement points. In this scene, you can see two portable MD props, Take Dinner Plate and Use Microwave. These can both be found in the Staying at Home content pack. If we select the Take Dinner Plate object and go into Behavior Settings, we can see that it has its own pick up and put down motions. On the other hand, if we select the placement point of the Use Microwave MD prop, you'll notice that it also has pick up and put down motions. The difference here is that these motions are designed for use with the microwave exclusively, while the plate is more flexible, which we'll explore in a moment. First, let's go into the IMD tab where we'll find a list of overrides. Overrides are essentially there to determine whether or not your actor will use the dedicated pick up and put down motions assigned to the placement point. You can see that the microwave override is assigned to the list here and enabled in our mail IMD. You can see it's also assigned to the IMD of the Take Dinner Plate object as well. If we kept this as is, the actor would open the microwave door and place the plate inside like normal. However, if we disable this from our mail IMD list for the object, you'll see our actor will just use the normal put down motion assigned to the plate. So what we need to do here is assign the override. That's simple if we're using the plate, but let's look at if we have a different object. In this case, I'll use this portable beverage dummy mesh from the Use Vending Machine MD prop. Initially, it will perform the same motion. But if we assign the microwave override, the motion from the microwave placement point will override it and we'll have a successful microwave open and placement. Only by default, this motion is meant for use with the plate dummy, so the beverage is all out of place. What we need to do is customize this motion then to conform to the dimensions of our beverage mesh. I'll start by checking that Preserve the Timeline Editing Result in Add Delete Behavior Mode is enabled in the Preferences, which ensures that the motion clip remains in the timeline after we do our behavior editing in just a moment. So to get that initial beverage pickup motion clip in the timeline, we can enter into its Add Delete Behavior Settings, click on the Grab Beverage motion, and add it to the timeline. Now if we apply and exit, that motion clip will remain in the timeline. Now let's select the Use Microwave Placement Point and temporarily duplicate the Mail IMD and rename it as Mail Drink to use for our editing. In the Behavior Settings, let's select that IMD and with Put in Plate selected, let's add a behavior, being sure to choose our beverage dummy mesh instead of the embedded plate. If we select the actor, you can see that our first motion remains in the timeline, which is important because now he already has the beverage in hand. So let's add the put in plate motion to the timeline after that, and you'll see the issue we need to fix at the beginning of that motion clip. Let's first get some keyframes we can copy from the original motion by right clicking on it and selecting sample all parts per frame. With the very last key from that clip selected, we can then go into the Edit Motion Layer tool, copy that pose, and then paste it to the first frame of our second clip. You can do some minor initial editing here, but mainly we need to focus on the Link Offset keys which are up next. These determine the position of the beverage mesh while it's linked to the actor's hand. The first one is good, but we need to delete the others except for the last one, which determines when the linkage is broken from the hand after it's put down and switched over to the placement point. This is actually an easy fix if we right click on that keyframe and set our transition curve to step mode, which means the link offset won't change at all 
until right at that keyframe. Before doing that though, you'll want to right click and split the keyframe so you have two of them in consecutive frames. That way our cup will remain in hand without floating around. You can do any adjustments to the position of the cup on the first frame, which will be reflected in the link offset values in your modify panel. Next, right click the clip, select it as your start and duration, and then right click in the collect clip track and overwrite the behavior motion. Now we need to do the same thing for the pick up motion. So let's select it and add it to the timeline right after. We'll do the same thing by copying the pose in the first frame of the previous clip, but this time we'll paste it to the last frame of our current clip to ensure the full perform loop is smooth. Again, we'll delete the unnecessary link offset keys and just keep the link change ones. This time it's changing from the placement point to the hand. We can then copy that first link offset key from our second clip and paste it to the last keyframe of our third clip to get rid of that weird blending result. Again, making sure the transition curve is set to step mode. We'll use the same process to overwrite the behavior and we're good to go. I'll rename the motions to avoid confusion and then apply. Now let's look at how to edit the overrides with our new behavior. In the IMD list for the use microwave placement point, let's first add an additional custom override for our set of beverage motions called microwave drink and select this from the list of our new IMD overrides. We also need to do the same for our beverage object as well, only this time from the standard mail IMD as we didn't add one for this object. Now you can see that we have everything all customized and ready for our new drink prop. Finally, let's take a look at customizing the height of the placement point where you set down your object. I'll start by making copies of my drink objects and placing them with names according to where they'll be placed. Let's start by editing the behavior of the low one by selecting its placement point and going into behavior mode. Let's edit the pickup motion, being sure to choose our beverage mesh. With a lower pickup point, the motion doesn't match, so we need to use the Edit Motion Layer tool to set keys to fix this. The same goes for the Put Down motion. You'll see the same thing for the High Placement point. Just go through the same process, being sure to override the motions for the individual placement points. Then, in our Main Drink object, let's go into the IMD list and add overrides for Drink High and Drink Low, being sure to activate them on the Mail IMD list. After that, make sure to assign those overrides to the placement points of the specific object properly. Now when we enter into play mode, you can see that the motions adapt to our overrides. This is an easy way to adapt this MD prop to different environments. Once you have adjusted MD prop set up for your specific scene, you can use different actors and prop meshes interchangeably using Motion Director to move them around your scene and interact with objects in real time for quick animation and simulation. Once you have the basics, you can always edit further using iClone's other motion tools. That's it for this tutorial guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.